Hello and thank you for contacting WAVE. I see from your request that you're struggling with the fit on these two unique corneas. The right cornea is your intact cornea and if we look at the topography, one thing you tend to notice um, is you know it's hard for us to capture peripheral data on some of these unique corneas so a lot of the fitting tends to be almost empirical out here but one thing that you can uh, sort of see when you're looking at the topography if, uh, from a wave standpoint as wave works its way out toward the periphery here it'll tend to see this uh, red steep area and the steeping area is the last area that it sees so it'll sort of assume that the rest of this cornea is kind of steep and in that manner it'll probably design a lens that's kind of steep here into the corner that might explain some of your uh, fitting concerns but if I understand correctly you're hoping to get this right lens to center a little bit better I think it's decentering a little bit as well as maintain sort of the uh, a uh, unique uh, relationship of the base curve centrally. So a couple thoughts when we look at your design. Hang on for just a moment as I bring that in. There we go. So if we look at your design, it's actually a very nice design that you have here. But one of the things I try to like to do, I try to like the, these lenses a little bit larger. By making the lens a little bit larger, we'll probably be able to get a little bit larger landing zone toward the uh, outer part here. That may help this lens stabilize a little bit more, may help it center a little bit more. Uh, and hopefully we'll uh, uh, address some of those fitting concerns that you have. Now an easy way to do that, uh, I did a little bit of a design here. And if I pull up uh, an alternate design for you to consider. I went to a little larger lens, I went to about a 10-0 diameter. And this one I also added in a little aspheric component using that S factor down in the bottom corner. And where that's helpful is if you look at the bottom right hand corner of the, four, the quad four or the quad, uh, quad view, You'll see that's the topography. The lower left is the back surface of the contact lens. So you'll notice that in this new design, it perfectly mirrors the topography. In your design, there's a little bit more of a steep central area through there. Uh, and that uh, suggests that although it's a great looking lens, it may not fit quite as uh, accurately. So uh, if we look, I know your other concern was maintaining sort of this similar base curve relationship. So one way you can kind of look at that, if you look at your lens, if you click on the R for the R sim, that'll sort of give you sort of the spherical equivalent uh, base curve on that lens. So if you click on the R, you'll get about a 708 for your lens. And for the new lens, I did the same thing, got about a 719, and accounting for the little larger diameter, that gives you, I think, a rather similar uh, base curve relationship. So again, for this lens to get to center a little bit better, I would probably go a little larger. That will en enhance, the, that'll increase the landing zone size. Consider going to more of an aspheric design. And I think uh, that should give you a couple uh, tools to get that lens fitting better. If we look at your left lens, once again, you've got a nice looking lens over here. Let me click over back into freeform here. Uh, rather nice looking lens, but again, I understand there's some bearing issues centrally. And so to, once again, we want to look at this back surface of the lens. And as a design, I went through and also clicked over to that freeform design. Uh, left in freeform and clicked over to the little aspheric component and that gives you a back surface that's very similar to the topography and once again if you click over and do the uh, sort of spherical equivalent uh, base curve you get a 733 on yours and the newer one is a 727 so it steepens it up a little bit I think that'll help get it off that uh, cone so you're not getting so much bearing uh, you could also consider going to a little larger lens than this this side also if you get uh, if you get the lens not centering as well as you'd like Okay, with that said, I hope those are helpful tips. I think those should hopefully get you back on track. The lenses uh, should perform a little bit better with those uh, adjustments. I wish you well, and thank you for contacting WAVE. Have a great day.